Hey everybody, midweek, happy Wednesday. Uh, this is coming straight from NECA, from the Friday the 13th franchise uh, website. I'm going to read off the list. NECA still on hold for new Friday the 13th projects. So I'm going to go ahead and read this. It has been nearly two years since NECA has last able to release a new figure or anything related to Friday the 13th. Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th Part 7, The New Blood, was the last figure release, which I do have that, in the Ultimate Edition line in fourth quarter of 2021. And fans and collectors are anxious to hopefully complete that line in the near future. Other readers have been asking about re-releases of the ultra-popular accessory set that included the Camp Crystal Lake sign. I definitely get that. I missed out on that and other objects from the films. NECA responded to an interesting fan in late 2021 about that set, and at least they are open to offering that again once they are legally able to. That'd be pretty cool, because I'd definitely go pick that up. Uh, with our readers reaching out to us in email and social media about the status of the availability of future releases, we asked NECA about their plans and told us the following. Like Nightmare on the Street, it's still tied up in legal hell. Unfortunately, we 100% plan on continuing the line once the owner fifth is settled in court. With this streaming series project, Crystal Lake approved and moving forward, and the possibility of a new film project on the horizon, we had hopes that merchandise licensing had it been settled, but it seems that is still under review. Um, yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to seeing when this does happen because I know Victor Miller won part of the case. Uh, he owns the rights to Crystal Lake, Young Jason, Mrs. Voorhees. Um, yeah, that whole thing is so messy. It's 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 so it's almost like you know you uh, go ahead and you complete one thing. You, you, you get your part, like Victor won his part, and you're still in a great bind with the other stuff. So, uh, yeah, I would like to see a party. Uh, Jason takes Manhattan figure. The two different versions of Jason you get in Jason X, the Jason L. Jason. Uh, those are really the ones we're missing. I mean, it's all on the missing back there in my little uh, collection that I got, other than uh, part six that I need to uh, try hunting down sometime at a convention or so. But, uh, it, it's a damn shame. It really is because uh, Friday the Thirteenth is by far one of the biggest slasher uh, franchises of all. Uh, you know, Halloween uh, for most fans is is the biggest one. Um, but you know, Friday the Thirteenth to me was is the biggest. Because I can relate to a lot of that with you know uh, camping at a young age with my grandparents and stuff like that. Um, even in the, even in the summer and stuff. So. Yeah, I would love to see this get cleared up and then they move forward with the rest of the Jasons in the Ultimate NECA line. Because I'm going to get them all anyway. Uh, I got a pretty, like I said, I pretty much got almost all of them. I'm only just missing part six to complete uh, that line already. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, it's a shame for us Friday the 13th fans that this had happened and. You know, now we're waiting, but that uh, Crystal Lake accessory set with the Camp Crystal Lake sign, I missed out on it uh, when it first came out, but I would love to get that. That'd be pretty cool to put on the shelf in here in, in the uh, the uh, X room, is what I'm calling it. So, uh, show for the X Men, because I'm an X Men fan too. But, uh, anyways, yeah, that, that, that's just about it. So, that is it, guys, for the video. Stay tuned for another video coming up uh, later on uh, tomorrow. Probably, maybe, maybe something scrum related. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, other than that, that is it. Take care.